Hello friends, uh, most welcome to English Advantage online classes. Uh, friends, in this video, uh, we will be doing a mock test for SSC multitasking exam. And uh, in this video, I have included uh, 26 most important questions and uh, most expected questions uh, for SSC MTS exam. But at the same time, this uh, video uh, will be highly useful for other SSC exams like SSC CGL and uh, CHSL and CPU exams. So this video tutorial uh, will be in English language and if you want to watch the Hindi version uh, you can definitely watch it on the same channel uh, called English Advantage YouTube channel. So let us get started. Now before I proceed further I would like to recommend you this book. You can buy this book uh, from Amazon. I have given the link in the description box. This is extremely useful book and uh, covering all the topics and all the sections. It also covers uh, previous year uh, solved paper. So this is extremely useful book, uh, particularly for SSC MTS exam. Okay. If you want to practice and assess uh, your preparation for the SSC MTS exam, you can buy this uh, mock test series. This is online mock test series. You have to visit this site test.englishadvantage.in. From there, you have to register first by putting in your email ID and your password and then uh, by using the uh, payment options online payment options uh, paytm uh, net banking credit card debit card uh, you can buy this uh, mock online mock test series only for rupees 399 so it covers all the sections this is bilingual and this is valid for one year and this also provide you with uh, test report analysis that is very very important for your preparation and for your performance in the exam so you can analyze your uh, preparation before the real exam this is my helpline number uh, 989371993 uh, you can always call me regarding any query so let us get started this is question number one uh, what is the correct spelling of rhythm uh, please take a piece of paper and pen and start solving these uh, questions as i go along uh, with the video and if your question if your answer matches my answer uh, give yourself one mark otherwise 0.25 minus, minus marking you can do and uh, uh, when the video is over, uh, whatever is your final score, please send me through the comment box. So the answer of this question is A. This is the correct spelling of rhythm RH by THM. Let us see the next question. Uh, what is the correct spelling of playwright? Okay, playwright is a kind of dramatist. Uh, so most of the students will get confused here. But this is not the correct spelling. The correct spelling of uh, playwright is this. That is D. Okay, so question two, your answer will be D. Question three, embarrass, a very important word. And this question has come uh, multiple times in different SSC exams. So what is the correct spelling of uh, embarrass to make somebody feel uncomfortable? So E M B A double R A double S. This is a double letter word. And uh, R and S uh, will be doubled in this word embarrass. So C here will be your correct answer question number three your answer is c let us see question number four uh, millennium this is also extremely important question this is also a double letter word so what is the correct answer what is the uh, what is your correct answer please tick mark and uh, this will be the correct answer this is the correct spelling of millennium m i double l e double n i u m so here your answer will be a question number five convalesce Convalesce means to recover uh, from sickness or illness. What is the correct spelling of uh, convalesce? So this is the correct spelling C-O-N-V-A-L-E-S-C-E. -E. C-O-N-V-A-L-E-S-C-E. -E. This is the correct spelling of convalesce. Question number six. This is idiom uh, part. And one question is given. And uh, you have to tick mark uh, the correct answer. The underlined part is the idiomatic expression. And uh, you have to find out the meaning of that uh, idiomatic expression. He has been chasing his tail all week collecting data. But the report is still not ready. Chasing his tail means doing uh, so many things. But achieving too little. So here your answer will be C. Doing a lot, achieving little. Question number seven, uh, the boss examined my report with a fine tooth comb before submitting it to the senior. A fine tooth comb. What is the meaning of a fine tooth comb? Your options are signed it, uh, made remarks, examined carefully and crossed out. So out of these four options given, uh, your answer will be examined carefully. Okay. 
now let us uh, see the next question question number eight a good salesman must be able to think on his feet to close the deal uh, to think on his feet what is the meaning of this idiomatic expression your options are given here make quick decisions uh, speak well good confidence and act wisely so here your answer will be make quick decisions think on his feet think on one's feet means make quick decisions question number nine this looks like a plum job but it has its own bunch of complications what do you mean by a plum job plum job means that is well paid and that provides you with the opportunity of earning extra apart from your uh, regular salary so your answer here will be b that is desirable well paid job uh, let us see the next question this is synonym part reverence r-e-v-e-r-e-n-c-e -E -E. reverence means your options are disgust deep respect approach and divulgence divulgence means to to reveal something now here your answer will be deep respect reverence means deep respect question number 11 tenacity what is the correct meaning of tenacity uh, tenacity uh, actually means mental toughness or mental strongness or firmness so firmness weakness attraction and inquisitiveness four options are given here and here your answer will be firmness Question number 12, tractable. Who is tractable? The tractable is a very obedient uh, kind of person, a very controllable, very obedient. So the question asks you the antonym of tractable. And if you are not tractable, you are disobedient. So here your answer will be A, that is disobedient. Other options are divine, discouraged and dejected. Question number 13, culpable. Okay, culpable is a person who can be, who can be blamed okay so op your options are resolute influenced uh, blame worthy and innocent uh, since you have to find out the antonym innocent will be the correct answer innocent question number 14 filthy filthy means dirty and your options are clean feeble fulsome and breakable so the opposite of filthy is clean question number 15 with the amount of traffic nowadays, even a trip across town is beset upon dangers. Now, what is the error? Please find out the error uh, in this question. The question is divided into four parts. And in one of the parts, the error lies. And uh, that part is your answer. Okay. So, as you may be knowing that beset uh, is normally followed by by or with. So, here it is followed by upon. So, C will be the erroneous path that is the wrong path so c here will be your answer question number 16 i like hindi movies but he likes no other movies but titanic uh, what is your answer please tick mark your answer in this question a uh, very important and tricky question now in this sentence since we are using no other uh, it should be followed by then and not by but so c should be your answer Question number 17, he was suspended immediately to show indiscipline. Now, in this question, we are talking about uh, the cause, not the purpose. When we use, uh, when we talk about the purpose, we use the 2 plus V1. And when we talk about the cause, we use 4 plus ING form of the verb. So, here we are talking about the cause. He was suspended. Now, why he was suspended? We are talking about the cause here, cause of suspension. Okay, and the cause of suspension was to show indiscipline. He showed indiscipline. So, here uh, we would correctly say that he was suspended immediately for showing indiscipline. So, here your answer will be C. Question number 18. He was elected as secretary of the organization. Okay, so in this sentence what is your answer please tick mark your answer uh, in this sentence we will not uh, use as because as is used only with the word regard with the elected and uh, considered and call uh, with all these kind of words as is not used so here uh, this as is extra you have to delete it and uh, your answer will be b question number 19 you were dancing in the party were you 
Now this is a question tag question and uh, in the question tag as you may be knowing if the statement is in affirmative the question tag is negative okay so you were dancing in the party is affirmative so question tag will be negative and uh, the question tag correct question tag will be were not you so c will be your answer here question number 20th uh, we discussed about the water shortage problem in the area uh, please tick mark your correct answer now uh, before the words like discuss after the words like discuss and order we do not uh, put any proposition so here uh, we would correctly say we discussed about not uh, we would say we discussed only not we discussed about so here uh, your answer will be a this this proposition about will not come here we discussed the water shortage problem in the area Question number 21st, an Indian ship uh, laden with merchandise got drowned in the Pacific Ocean. When we talk about, uh, when we talk about a person, we use the word drown and we talk about things, we use the word sink. Since we are talking about a thing, uh, we will use the word sink. So here, the second form of the verb uh, will be used, that is sank. So here, your answer will be C, sank. An Indian ship laden with merchandise sing, uh, sank in the Pacific Ocean. Question number 22nd. I could not put up in a hotel uh, because the boarding and lodging, lodging charges were exorbitant. This is quite a tricky question and uh, the mistake in this question is very minor. Uh, here we are not talking about uh, area. Here we are talking about a particular point. A hotel is a particular point. He stayed at a particular point. So that is why in place of this proposition in, that is wrong, uh, we will correctly use at. So here your answer will be A. Question number 23rd, I asked her to join the birthday party, but she politely blank off. Your options are bad, back, called and backed. So uh, when you bag off, you you ask for excuse you want to leave that place and you somehow cannot cannot attend that place so here your correct answer will be bagged off so b will be your answer question number 24 he got involved in the criminal activities because of his friends agged him now agged him what what uh, adverbial particle will come upon on for and off so here your correct answer will be on agged on agged him on agged him on means to persuade somebody uh, for doing uh, some negative thing question number 25 if you have completed your homework assignment please button chip in hand in and hand out four options are given here button means to interfere talking uh, chip in means to contribute money hand in means to submit and hand out means to distribute so hand in uh, will be your correct answer now question number 26 uh, this is the test question for experience this is for you you have to solve this question and whatever is your answer you have to send me through the comment box this is your report card and uh, according to the marks I have indicated here on the basis of these marks you can uh, you can get my feedback and suggestions as it is indicated here if you have managed to go 21 to 25, your performance is outstanding and uh, you have got high chances of success in, in SSC exams. 18 to 21, excellent performance, very good chances of success. 15 to 18, very good, but you have to, you have to practice hard. 10 to 15, below average, but you have to practice hard regularly. And uh, if you have managed to go only below 10, your performance will be considered poor and you have to learn concepts and practice hard, uh, practice hard regularly. So how did you like uh, this video tutorial? If you have found it useful uh, for your SSC MTS exam, uh, please like it. Uh, do send me your final comments and your answer. And if you haven't yet subscribed this channel called English Advantage YouTube channel, kindly do join us, kindly do subscribe to get all the notifications. So this is English Advantage group on Facebook. Please join this group. To get all the notifications my helpline numbers are given above uh, you can always contact me regarding any queries so thank you very much uh, for watching this video and i wish you all the best for your bright future thank you